The number of freeway shootings we're seeing in Metro Detroit continues to climb. The latest was late last night. Michigan State Police say road rage is at the root of many of them. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to MSP and a psychologist about how to avoid an altercation while behind the wheel. With the increase in freeway shootings, Michigan State Police say there will be extra eyes on the road. I just really want people to like, you know, calm down on the roads. It's not, it's not worth it. Michigan State Police investigating another freeway shooting. This one late last night in Detroit on I-94 near Linwood. It's the latest in a string of shootings on Metro Detroit freeways, well over a dozen since the middle of June. This is the most we've ever seen. Fortunately, our detectives have been uh, very successful in every case but one, not counting the two that we had over the weekend, uh, we either have a suspect or we have an arrest. And now Michigan State Police are getting some backup to help solve and possibly prevent some of these shootings. MDOT's live cameras that will now record. The entire freeway system in Metro Detroit's covered. So um, there's cameras all over uh, the area that uh, will be, be used by us. Just being another driver, if I'm not involved in that incident, I would be terrified. A majority of them, over half, are road rage related. Uh, some either they didn't like the way they were driving or somebody, you know, flipped them off, somebody flipped somebody else off. Uh, they kind of swerved at each other a couple of times and now we're bringing handguns into it. You don't have to throw your life away or take away another person's life um, for something as minuscule as a dirty look. In some of her therapy, psychologist Dr. Rose Moten uses thoughts surrounding road rage to help people keep their emotions from being triggered. This is where you have to sometimes psych yourself out. So you, I tell people when someone cuts you off in the road and you believe, oh, I've been disrespected and you get all angry, tell yourself, Oh, maybe they have a choking child in the back seat, or maybe they are late for work and this is their last time before they get fired. And just that switch in belief systems will change your actions immediately. And we don't know if that's the truth or not. You have no way of knowing what their circumstance is, but even challenging yourself to change that belief system can be the difference between life and death. Bottom line, don't ever engage an angry driver. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Some important information, Kimberly, thank you.